What's going on, guys? Wait a bit, Matt here. Here to bring you guys tonight's uh, overview of tonight's Raw, which was the Slammy Awards. I'm still sick. I got a head crud, so I can't really talk very well. So this is going to be a quick overview instead of a full review like I usually do. The show starts off. Stephanie McMahon comes out. This leads to her setting two matches up later, which has D.A. Ambrose fighting Sheamus in a steel cage, and the Usos facing the New Day in a two-on-three handicap. Then tonight, all the slammies that were announced, every single one that was brought out there was v via a superstar or like an old returning one. There's no celebrity specials. But breakout, slam breakout star of the year goes to Neville. <coughs> LL moment of the year went to R-Truth. OMG moment of the year went to Kalisto and Selena Del Sol off the top of the ladder. Superstar of the year went to the man, Seth freaking Rollins, and he showed up tonight. That was awesome. By far best part of the whole freaking show. Seth freaking Rollins showed up. Hero of the year, Slammy Award goes to John Cena. Uh, Return of the year goes to Steve. Diva of the year goes to Nikki Bella. Whatever. Stupid bug. And awesome moment of the year goes to The Rock. And Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania, whatever. And Magic of the Year goes to Taker versus Lesnar, which was just accepted by Paul Heyman. The whole crowd was pissed because it was in Minnesota. So, of course, they wanted they wanted Borg Laser, but they didn't get him, so. Lived throughout the night, they had a bunch of terrible matches that didn't really matter. They had a random one, Bray Wyatt took on Kane. Kane returned for no reason. And this match ends up in the DQ real quick. Uh, then Kane saved by three members of TVCW. No Ryo. Ryo has just disappeared now. This leads to an eight-man tag. TVCW and Kane taking on the Wyatts. Dudley boys end up cleaning house at the end. Hit the Watts up. Hit a 3D. <coughs> Brown Snowman takes him out. Kane takes out Brown Snowman. Knocks him off his feet. They both fall down. And then Luke Harper catches a uh, Devon out of nowhere at the discus clothesline. Uh, then we had Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler, which occurred from a segment earlier on in the night where <coughs> Dolph Ziggler announced Neville as the winner for Breakout Star. Kevin Owens came out and told him that that was the biggest bullshit that he ever heard, the biggest uh, bullcrap in WWE history. That Kevin Owens rightfully deserved it. And Dolph Ziggler ended up attacking him, and that led to the match. Which, this was probably the best match of the night. Um, Kevin Owens went for a pop up power bomb. Here's a spot in the match. Dolph Ziggler landed over his head, hit a super kick. Um, Kevin Owens falls to the outside of the ring. Uh, <coughs> Kevin Owens goes to get back in the ring. But he's like halfway through the ropes. Dolph Ziggler hits a famous or but Kevin Owens is still in the ropes. So that was pretty cool. And then Dolph Ziggler goes to run at Kevin Owens at the end. Kevin Owens catches him out of nowhere to the pop up power ball. One, two, three. Kevin Owens wins. Uh, we had a pointless match between Alberto and Swagger. Alberto ends up winning. I didn't care at all about this match. He ends up winning with that quarter stomp. And that's, that sets up and tells us that John Cena is going to be returning next week, which is going to be awful. He's going to be facing Alberto Del Rio, probably for the United States title. They didn't really say. Stupid bug. Okay, but uh, then we got the New Day taking on the Usos. A uh, New Day cut a promo talking about how they didn't win a Slammy because apparently the Usos won the Tag Team Slammy uh, off TV earlier tonight, which is completely dumb. All the Slammies tonight pretty much were dumb picks. But I, I think mostly just the kids vote on the app, right? That's, that's why nothing but faces won, right? That makes sense. But New Day cut a promo. They say, well, you guys want to spoil our Slammies? Well, we're going to spoil Star Wars. And then they start to say the ending. And Kofi uh, says, hey guys, hold on. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. 
They cut into the match. We've got New Day doing the regular tactics. Uh, the Unicorn Stomp. The match ends with the Usos. Xavier Woods goes for a roll up on one of the Usos. The Uso counters and rolls him up. That match looked like a botched finish. I don't know. The roll up looked terrible. I thought Xavier was supposed to win originally, but I accidentally lost leverage or something. But Usos end up picking up a win over the tag champs. Lily and Roos have taken on Level in a complete squash match. Pretty much, Roos have destroyed Level, and the Miz is out there on commentary. Basically, he's not going to interfere in this match to prove to Level that Level leads him in this corner. And Level ends up tapping out to the accolade. So I don't know where to go with that storyline, but it looks like the Miz was right here. Then we got Becky Lynch taking on Brie Bella. And this match was decent. Uh, there was the A, we want some, and then instead of saying Bailey, they said Becky, which I thought was funny. The crowd was very live tonight. But uh, Becky Lynch ends up winning. Marie Bella goes for a roll up on her. Becky counters it into the disarmor. And that's it. No, no progression of the Charlotte uh, Becky Lynch storyline or anything, but. Oh, then for the Divas, uh, Slammy of the Year. Uh, they had R-Truth go out there, and he basically pulled a Steve Harvey from the Miss Universe crap, and he announced Paige as the winner, and then told her sorry, she's the runner-up, and then announced Nikki Bella as the winner. It's dumb, whatever. I made me so angry because I picked Paige the winner of Nikki Bella. Okay, that leads us to our main event. Uh, before the match... The League of Nations take out the Usos backstage, beat them and living shit out of them so the Usos aren't going to help Dean here. When the whole League of Nations come down, Sheamus Brogue kicks Dean at the start of the match uh, before he even gets in the cage. Then the League of Nations just start beating Ambrose down. They throw him in the ring. Uh, then they start the match. Sheamus has the momentum for most of the match. Uh, three big highlights of this match was probably the first one the first one would have had to have been the huge move from Sheamus uh, him and Dean were fighting on the top ropes trying to escape the cage of course League of Nations surround the cage so Ambrose couldn't get out then uh, Sheamus got up there ends up hitting a white noise off the top ropes into the cover gets a two count then later in the match Dean Ambrose tries to climb up again League of Nations get up on the on the cage again, so he just decides to dive off the top of the cage, do that standing elbow drop, and Sheamus into the cover. That got a two count. And then towards the end of the match, Roman Reigns decided to show up because he had seen enough. He spears all members of the League of Nations, takes them out, then goes and gets a chair. Jeez, goes and gets a chair and climbs the cage, preventing Sheamus from trying to escape. Throws the ch chair into the ring to uh, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose starts beating Sheamus with the chair. Hits him with dirty deeds on the chair. He's going to climb out. Sheamus gets up there, catches him. They're fighting on the outside of the cage. Then Sheamus hits a headbutt on Ambrose, causing Ambrose to fall off. Ambrose ends up, ends up walking out victorious. When Sheamus drops, he gets hit with a big spear. And Stephanie McMahon's pissed as hell. And that's how Raw ended it. So I'm sorry if that was a little quicker than usual, but I am uh, pretty damn sick, and I don't want to make it last any longer. So that was Raw. It was a decent episode. The Slammys turned out to be shit, except for the boy Seth Rollins was back, which was awesome, because ever since he left, Raw's been complete shit. So is the pay-per-views. But now that Rollins is back, oh, well, he was back for a night. So, I mean, that saved Raw. Otherwise, I would have said Raw was complete shit. But that one segment with Rollins saved it. So, yeah, that's raw, and that's what happened.